805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we're gonna bring you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guests today are from Sansom Diabetes Research Institute. We have Namino and Ariana. Welcome ladies. Thank, Thank you. you so much, it's a pleasure to be here. We are so glad you're here. You know, I have heard some fabulous things about the work that you folks are doing and you even have a new program to tell us about. So tell us all about the latest at Sansom Diabetes Research Institute. Sansom Diabetes Research Institute is a, an organization that's meeting the needs of our community around education, research, care, and support for all of the people and families who are living with diabetes. And diabetes, as you've probably heard, is really at epidemic levels. There are over mm -hmm. 30 million people in the United States who are living with diabetes right now. That's wow. about one in 10 people. That's a lot. It is a lot. And one in four of those people are living with diabetes without knowing it. Oh, they haven't been officially diagnosed. Yeah. The additional challenge is that diabetes is discriminatory. It hits racial and ethnic minorities with a bigger punch. More so than? More so than the population. white population. And so for example, in the Mexican American population, rates of diabetes are double that in the white population. Wow. Luckily, we have Sansom. And Sansom Hooray has- for Sansom. Hooray for Sansom. Sansom has actually existed since 1944 and has been providing care to the community to help people prevent diabetes oh. and to manage their diabetes. And recently, when the research was revealing this disproportionate burden on the Latino population, Sansom started a new initiative called Mil Familias, or 1,000 Families in Spanish. Mil Familias is an initiative to really study all of the different factors that go into this disproportionate burden that's felt in the Latino community in order to then design interventions to address it. Wow, and how long has the Mil Familias been going? So we started about a year and a half ago. We already worked with over 100 individuals and we are soon going to engage 1,000 families from this area. And it's a very oh. unique program. I'll let Ariana talk a little bit more Ariana, about it. Ariana, tell us about it. That sounds so fascinating. The backbone of really what we're aiming to do is develop relationships with the community through this program and specifically with the Latino population in Santa Barbara so that we can better understand not just the needs of the community but also just the general lifestyle. We want to develop those interventions like Namino was talking about based off of gathering and learning first. Um, mm -hmm. And so our goal is working with the community through our promotoras to really do that. Our promotoras are our community health workers. They mm -hmm. are amazing at not only providing support and care to our participants, um, but also at helping us guide this research that we're aiming to do. They are essential for what we do because they really are the front of what we're working with. So this Mil Familias is real, sounds like it's really cutting edge. I mean, you know, diabetes, as you mm -hmm. say, is such a problem. And people have known that, but somebody paid attention and said, wait a minute, it's disproportionately affecting this certain population. Let's target that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not only do we want to target this population, but we realize that diabetes is not just a function of biology. Mm -hmm. So most studies do look at the clinical symptoms and processes. However, diabetes is also impacted by your genetics. Oh. It's yeah. impacted by your behavior, your psychology, your social environment. Mm. And so what's unique 
about milfamilias is that we're looking at all of the determinants of health and diabetes. And how can we harness that knowledge mm -hmm. to then design interventions, treatments, policy, education programs, other things that can help people prevent uh, becoming even pre-diabetic or moving from mm. pre-diabetes to diabetes. And if you're already living with diabetes, to help people manage that. And so Sansom has many different classes and opportunities for care, participation, and research to offer. Okay. And a lot of those are offered in English and Spanish mm -hmm. for our Latino population. And so this research will feed into appropriate mm. interventions. That is great. So do people come to your facility to participate in those classes, or do you go to other places or both? Both, actually. So we have quite a few classes that we offer at our office that are geared at, like Namino said, everything from those dealing with prediabetes to once they have a diagnosis, and also family members of individuals who just want to learn how to better right, help right, you know, right. their yeah. friends and family okay. um, deal with this. And those classes are offered, like I said, at our office. We have a set calendar that we put out every month with those, as well as out in the community. We have several different partnerships across the community that um, welcome our promotoras, our community educators, as oh, well good. as other members of our education department. And they go out into the community and really put this out there. The other thing that they really do a great job of is um, providing a type of medical resource. They have our mobile health stations as oh. well. And so those will be throughout the months, they set those up in different places. Um, and those are really just to help people understand their health and predominantly understand where they are with diabetes. And then from there, segue into, do I need a class? Do I need mm -hmm. a one-on-one -on -one consultation? Is there a program I can enter in like Mil Familias that can not only help me better understand my health, but also help the greater community as well. Is there a charge for those classes? No, they're offered <laughs> free of cost. Gosh, so it is that's a, pretty it amazing. It is a great yeah. service for the community, and we welcome anyone to give us a call and express their needs and interests, and we'll hook them up with an appropriate class or a research opportunity, maybe an opportunity for care. Um, we're, we're here wow. to Wow, so if you serve. do all this work for no cost then I bet you folks do some fundraising every now we and then. We do yeah. some yes. fundraising, and yeah. we are very interested in support. If you go to sansom.org, you can donate that way. Oh, if good. you're interested specifically in supporting Mil Familias, you can do that via sansom.org or via milfamilias.com. There's more information in English and Spanish at milfamilias.com. And there are many ways to support us. Mm -hmm. The dollars is one, one way. However, there are very important community partnerships oh. that make this process mm -hmm. work. And there are in-kind materials and services that we are always looking for as well. So, okay. And I do want to acknowledge that without the allies that we have mm -hmm. uh, developed in the community, this would not happen. And so some examples of that are we have a very uh, productive collaboration with Santa Barbara Neighborhood Clinics, okay. yeah. through which people are referred to us, and Santa Barbara Neighborhood Clinics has done the lab testing, mm. and they provide very full physicals for our participants, again, at no cost to the participant. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, other allies include the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department mm -hmm. on the health end, as well as academia. Mm -hmm. So UCSB, Westmont College, Santa Barbara wow. City College are all allies. Businesses in the community, such as Easy Lift that works with transportation. This is great. Other that nonprofits that yeah. we are able to refer to and from are very, very key partners. And it really is a collective, united vision to help our community address diabetes. Gosh. Yeah, you are really... Uh bringing such value to this community, and you have for a long time. We have. Sansom has existed since 1944. and That's has a long time. Yeah, it is a long time. So all of that compound experience and knowledge and a great team mm -hmm. of providers and mm -hmm. researchers and, as Ariana mentioned, promotoras or community health mm -hmm. workers. And these aren't your average community health workers. 
These yeah. are very dedicated members of the community. They are bilingual. Yeah. They are passionate about helping people yeah. and uh, helping people who are especially challenged by diabetes. Mm -hmm. And they have been provided with very special training. So oh. they have learned a lot about diabetes and how to answer questions about that. They have learned about other areas and uh, places that provide care, both for medical needs mm -hmm. and social needs. And especially, they've been trained to do the diabetes research. Wow. So this is a professional development opportunity for them, yes. and it's a very marketable skill. Mm -hmm. um, most community health workers across the nation and the globe work uh, as a, on a volunteer basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the promotoras who have this kind of training are paid, and so mm -hmm. it's a win-win, really. Our great. participants get the best of mm -hmm. that tr trusted relationship. Um, speaking their own language, talking with a community member, mm -hmm. as well as the promotoras who are developing professionally. And it's a, wow. it's a super, super partnership. That is great. So, so here you've been doing this fabulous work, touching so many lives for so many years. I bet you might have a story or two that you could we tell have, us. We have quite a few, and <clears throat> to be honest, most all of them come from the promotoras. I mean, oh. really everything is driven by the relationships that they build with participants and people who come through our door, and the number of times that we have participants just drop by to say, I was in the area, I wanted to see if they were here and just check in and see where we were at with the next time I could come in and meet with them, because the beginning of every visit with a promotora really is just catching up on life. They're talking yeah. about how family is doing. They're talking about what they might need more guidance with, whether it's a community referral to another resource or whether it's something diabetes related. And so those really are the, the greatest, most touching moments to hear the promotoras say, not only do they feel like they are providing something to mm -hmm. the participant, but really the participant in a sense is entrusting with them a lot and yeah. providing them with this greater sense of friendship. Yes, it's a, a real relationship that's yeah. built. It's one big family. Yeah, and I can that's feel the way that. that they express that. So, as, as I said, we're engaging a thousand Latino families in the Santa Barbara area. We estimate that there are about 86,000 Latino adults in Santa Barbara County <laughs> who are living with prediabetes or diabetes. 86,000 so, in Santa Barbara adults. In Santa adults. Barbara County, adults. Not, not counting the kids. Right. Yeah. And so we are reaching out through promotoras, uh, through programs such as this one, mm -hmm. to get the word out. If anyone's interested, again, milfamilias.com, or they can give Ariana a call. She'll phone answer number. the phone. Yes, All English right. or Spanish, we pick up the phone, 805-335-0124. It's my number. Anybody can call if they're interested in more information on our education resources, on Mil Familia specifically, or if they're just interested in learning more and want to be connected with the right avenue within Sansom, we will put them in touch with who that they need to be great. put in touch with. Or maybe mm -hmm. they're wondering if a family member might have diabetes, mm -hmm. but they're exactly. not really sure and they don't want to go to the doctor yeah. necessarily if it's, you know. Exactly. We Good. welcome all the phone calls. <laughs> That's great. So we have about a minute left. Anything else you want to share with our audience? Well, I would really like to invite everybody to call Ariana or to come to our website, uh, mealfamilias.com or sansom.org, okay. and learn more about diabetes and learn more about what we have to offer because the chances are, unfortunately, that someone in your family, in your neighborhood, in your circle, is living with prediabetes or diabetes. Mm -hmm. And there are risk factors that we can work on together. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thank you ladies for joining us on 805 Focus. We really appreciate that. And thank you for all the good work you're doing. Thank you thank so you. much. We really appreciate it. And thank you it. for joining us on 805 Focus and we'll see you next time.